Alright, hello, this is Jack and Crystal here for Awkward Conversations and Dirty Secrets. This is podcast number four, I think. It's our fourth one. Uh, so, mm -hmm. just a little bit of on the last one, I did some editing issues. So, I apologize for the little bit of silence and you hear me telling my dog to, to lay down. And uh, I did a little bit of editing fubu or something on that. So. Uh, again, we're working on some of that. We're learning, and mainly me, because I'm the editor of the videos and audio. So uh, I appreciate you listening through that and understanding. Uh, we'll hopefully get better as we go on different audio and, and video for the podcast and for YouTube. Uh, let you know we are brought to you and our sponsors today. We're going to be using uh, some of our favorites, which is Naked Wines. And if you're on YouTube, you can go down below. If you're not on YouTube, you can go to wingsandrelationships.com to our podcast page and also you'll see uh, Death Wish Coffee. So you got the coffee and you got the wine. You got the morning drink and the evening or vice versa, however you like to drink them. So uh, no judgment here. Um, but we are having our wine here this evening while we're sitting here talking to you and this is going to be a fun one. So I'm excited. Uh, this is something that we actually kind of been talking about ourselves lately and uh, kind of discussing things uh, so it's kind of like this is a great discussion part let's this would be a great podcast so crystal's going to go ahead and jump in and tell us what we're going to be doing yeah so we are um starting to kind of heat things up a little bit on our um our our little podcast um sorry i have to think about my Um, yeah, I'm going to start over here. So we're starting to heat things up a little bit on our little naughty podcast. Um, don't be frightened. Um, we're, things are just kind of starting to get really good. So hang with us. Uh, you're not going to want to miss any of this really good stuff that we're kind of starting to get into. Um, everything's going to be good. We're going to kind of just do, um, every every podcast will be a little bit different um, so this week um, as you can probably tell by the title is about sexual fantasies um, so we're gonna be getting a little more risque um, but you're obviously tuning into the podcast because of the title of our podcast it's um, just intriguing and um, as it states, these are awkward conversations, just things that go through our minds that we need to talk about. And um, they're imp these things are important to our relationships and um, we need to talk about them. So here we are. Um, so sexual fantasies, um, how many of you have them? Everybody, right? <laughs> we all do, whether you want to admit them or not. Um, women, men, we all have them. Um, I'm pretty sure most of us do. Maybe a few of us don't, but, um, it's normal, right? Uh, so we all have probably mixed feelings, um, about sexual fantasies and that's okay. Um, some of us find it very normalized today, kind of sort of a mainstream topic, I guess. Um, if you go into some of the uh, stores that are out there, actually, Jack and I went into Adam and Eve today, and we also um, are affiliates with Adam and Eve. So if you are interested in um, kind of spicing up your relationship, that's another one you can check out. They have some really interesting things there. Um, you can find it as well on our website, on our favorites page, or um, possibly our podcast page I can, as I can, well. I'll add, the, I'll add the podcast page. Yes. Um, so just some fun stuff and it can be a little intimidating at first if you haven't ever looked at any of that stuff, but it's, it's very fun. Um, so if you go into those stores, um, you can see a lot of, a lot of things, um, in there and a lot of people in there. It seems very normal to them. So, um that's shout, kind of what i meant good by, shout out uh, to the to the guy there today the guy the, the one who's helping us i guess look around 
Um, so in Norman, Oklahoma, Adam and Eve shop, if you're ever there, the guy, I can't, I, know, I, I wish, wish I, I remembered his name. So yeah, he was he awesome. Was great. Yeah, so if you're in there, helpful. he's a, he looked like a young guy and really nice, but very helpful. And uh, so I wish I would have thought of his name or, met, or got his name, but anyway, great job. Yeah. Just, we told them we were going to a concert. We're, we're actually about to go to Rocklahoma. It's a uh, music festival here in Oklahoma that they have every year. And uh, it's basically a, a Woodstock of rock concerts. And he like, was throwing out suggestions for us right and left. <laughs> and uh, so, yeah, it was really interesting. But uh, those are some things that you can do to kind of spice up your relationship and um, that falls right in the category of sexual fantasies but um, that's just one of the things that you can do um, but back to that topic of feeling kind of normalized um, and mainstream it's different for everyone but um, it can feel a little bit uneasy or make some of us feel uneasy to discuss and that can also be normal um, for some of us but that's why we're talking about it is because it should be talked about um, it should be discussed and the more that you talk about it and the more um, that you get it out there the more comfortable that you'll become with it Jack and I weren't always super comfortable talking to each other about it um, but the more that we have been open with each other about it the more we have become comfortable with it and it's another way that it has brought us closer together. And one of the ways that our relationship has become even more fun and interesting. Um, so it is very important to your relationship. Um, so some of us find this subject to even be embarrassing um, or shameful, but it's not. It um, can definitely be easy to feel that way. Um, some people can make us feel that way. Um, it can feel like a dirty thing um, because especially if we've had family or people in our past that have made us feel that way or if we've never had anyone tell us that it's okay and that is normal, um, it's easy to think that it's wrong but it's not wrong. So I'm here to tell you that it's perfectly normal and it is okay and that you should want to explore that if it's something that you're comfortable with. Um, but yeah, never feel um, like guilty for, for wanting to go down that avenue. Um, yeah, know that it's normal and completely healthy. So nearly everyone in the world has sexual fantasies in their mind at some given point, if not all the time. <laughs> um, so what is a sexual fantasy? The Encyclopedia of Evolutionary Psychological Science describes a sexual fantasy as any mental imagery that is sexually arousing or erotic to the individual. It's a, it's a wide, it's a wide, uh, <laughs> wide definition. Yes. Um, so again, we should not feel ashamed of these feelings as they're completely valid and acceptable um, to everyone. Uh, so it doesn't matter who you are. It doesn't matter what your sexual identity is. It doesn't matter what your um, sexual, um, what your sexual relationship status is. It doesn't matter if you're married, single, um, any of that. So um, just keep that in mind. In fact, we should be open with these fantasies with our, our partners and encourage them to do the same. Um, so if some of you out there are thinking, well, I've never talked to my partner about this. Um, I don't know if I could do that. Start opening your mind to that because they're probably thinking the same thing and they're probably wanting to be able to talk with you about that but they're just feeling like maybe you don't want to talk about that and so both of you having that same mindset it's never going to happen so one of you has to put that first foot forward um, for that to ever become a reality um, so just kind of keep that in mind that at some point you'll one of you will have to break the ice um, for that to ever become a thing 
Um, so these acts of sharing um, encourage deeper intimacy and bond within the relationship, as we kind of talked about earlier. So it's only going to help your relationship. Um, so kind of the next thing I wanted to talk about, there's kind of some, there's a lot of terms out there that can be confusing. Um, and to me, at one point, even they were confusing. So there are sexual fantasies and there are sexual fetishes and there are what's called kinks. So we talked about fantasies and so now we're going to talk about fetishes and you guys have all I'm sure heard about fetishes, right? Yeah. So the American Psychological Association defines a fetish as a material object like a shoe, undergarment, an animal fur or hide, a non-sexual part of the body like a foot or a lock of hair that arouses sexual interest or excitement. No. So. It's interesting. Um, just to name a few. So you hear the thing about the guys, the foot fetishes, that's a huge one that uh, people have foot fetishes. Um, and I'm sure there's tons of other fetishes that I don't have a, a clue about, but I definitely knew, I knew about, you know, that's just a big one you always hear about, oh, the foot fetish. And, and personally, I don't get it and I'm not supposed to get it. Um, Cause I, I have different, I'm sure I have different fetishes. It says, non-sexual part of the body so me liking the butt is like i'm i'm a butt guy so that's a sexual part of the body sort of so is that yeah fetish no i mean i mean i put butt because i feel like some people have that fetish but i mean that doesn't really go along with the non-sexual part so i guess that would kinda, be kind of kinda, that's kind of iffy one by the, by the yeah. definition yeah i think technically the fetish is like because that you know you slap the butt you like the butt and if you ever heard the song, the uh, booty, the booty man, it's my song for my wife. And it's uh, look at that booty, hear that booty. I like the booty. So it's, you gotta like the booty. And, and it's, and I think that is kind of a fetish thing, um, for certain people. Uh, definitely, uh, there's, like I said, there is the foot stuff. I know that there are, uh, some different ones and I can't even think of all the ones right this minute. I know I've heard of lots of different ones. We talked about the other one was that we said those furries. I guess there's a new, there's people wearing. That's not new. It's been around for a while. People wearing outfits like animals and doing animal things together for. So that's called furries. Is that right? Furries. And I had never heard of that. Um, so that was a new one for me. But you know, there's other there's other fetishes. Of course, people know S and M and BDS and M, uh, bondage. Um, you know. And a lot of times, a lot of that stuff is a fetish. It's not to deal with the sexual part of the body. It's a fetish for, you know, handcuffs. It's a fetish for, for whips and chains. It's a fetish for, you know, blindfolding somebody. There's there's all kinds of different ones. And that actually is described more as a kink. Okay, here. well, never mind. So, I guess I'm... And I didn't know that either. Well, so. I'm learning something. All right. Yeah. A kink. So, yeah. Um, but, yeah, the fetish thing... Um, and I'm sure you guys out there probably, everyone's heard of different things. Um, I've heard of the ears before. Um, there's people out there that have ear fetishes. Stockings. And then there's, yeah, stockings. Yeah, there's some guys. That, okay, yeah. They like the women's pantyhose stocking thing. Yeah, 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 that makes sense. Mm -hmm. um, and then there's a whole other plethora of um, just craziness, necrophilia. I'm sure you've all heard of that and if for any of you out there that have ever seen the show Ally McBeal um, one of the main characters Richard was obsessed with the waddle this area here <laughs> under the neck is what he called it the waddle that's not what it is but I mean like that, that's what they would call the ch like the chicken waddle <laughs> hmm. that's what he, he, he has a hot so, for that Yes. The, 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 yes. The hanging out one? Yes, and it could be an old, old woman, like completely mm. unattractive, but he would see the waddle and he'd be like, oh, he would like uh, lose his mind. Okay. And he'd be like, oh my God, the waddle. So necrophilia, that's uh, sex with dead people. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so. So as, we're, as, as a police officer back in the day, unfortunately, I had to deal with that a couple of times. So. 
Yeah, that's that's so, disgusting. So strange, but I mean, who are we to judge? Yeah, I'm not judging you. I just said you, you're strange. No. Really, really odd, but <laughs> yeah. Old people, ears, butts, feet, yeah, lips. Some people are obsessed with, you know, old old people as a sexual fetish thing. But if you're wanting to know more about fetishes, have no fear. We're going to do a podcast on sexual fetishes. So that will be stand coming. That will be coming that. too. And these yes. will be these will be marked as adult content. <laughs> <laughs> you don't so, want your little kids listening to some of this stuff. Yes. So we were like, um, that's a whole other like category of its own. So we've got to do like a completely different podcast on that. So yes, there will be more on that. Um, and then moving right along, a kink is more like an eccentric sex taste or behavior. Oh. For anyone that's seen Fifty Shades of Grey, um, BDSM as Jack stated, um, I had to look up because I'd heard of it before, but I could never remember. Oh, there, oh my God, there's so many words in it. Bondage and discipline, dom dominance and submission, Sadism and masochism. I can not ever like. Yeah, mm -hmm. just kills my. It's a mouthful. Um, so. Like handcuffs, whips, being flogged, spanked, bitten, hung up, um, all of those things um, can very be very arousing to a lot of people, and. Um, it's really a lot of these are very thin line because that can be like a fantasy for a lot of people too but it's also like a kink um, it's also it's, there's it's also uh, there's also a, a well, if you call it a group but groups and uh, of people who are actually interested in that type of deal and it's a world for them it's a world of uh, that's actually true of, yes. uh, of being dominant and being a submissive and mm -hmm. And the bondage, and and there's a whole nother world as you could dive into on that on that that subject alone, and, and you know, and it's and I think it I think you know if that's what they're into, and that's their 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 I think it's that that's their fetish, fantasy, and kink all together. And then then by golly, let them do what they want to do, but but that is a whole other world. You could dive in for months and months worth of information into BDS and M and all that type of stuff for sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, I've heard about like there's um, college campuses where there's they have groups of this and it's like that's it's like a I don't want to say cult because that's not the no. proper word, um, but it's, it's, their, it's their own. You like, get my yeah, their, their own, yeah yeah it's a where people that are submissive group, submissive yes. and that's that's their they're submissive yeah to uh, one person or a group of people yes. And that's that's the way they, they live their lives like that, and that's right. But uh, you know, of course, some of it's they some of them they love it. That's 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 the kind mm -hmm. of that's the thing they desire in life. And so, by all means, if that's your thing. Have fun at it. Is it's, it's, it's not my thing, you know. And like, right. But, but and and some people are probably like way more into it and way more like um, serious. Um, a little more like crazy with it I could imagine yeah, yeah. than um, others but that's probably another conversation uh, but, uh, so we, we talked about like when we first got together of course you know when you become intimate with your wife or your girlfriend and so you become uh, you become more intimate some of our conversations at the very beginning were very very on PG-13 like in sexual wise you know and uh, as we grew together, you know, we did things like when we were first got married, we went to uh, like an Adam and Eve thing and, and she was like very nervous and it was very weird. She didn't know, you know, what, how much I knew about that. And and so as time grew and we talked and, and discussed things and now we have a better time about going into places like that because you're saying, okay, we're both kind of more on an even level of our like and what we do not like and what we do know and don't know. And uh, so again, it goes back to great communication with your partner um, about what you want, what you like, what you're interested in, and if you know, it's, uh, there are some some things you're gonna be like, man, that's that's I, I, that just sounds really really kinky and freaky, and so you can talk to your spouse. Hopefully, you all have that relationship, 
And you know, it may be something you say, you know what, this is something of fantasy that I think about a lot. Would I ever do it? Maybe I might never do it. But I just want you to know that it's uh, something in my brain. You know, it's something that, that takes over my fantasies. And it may just be something that always takes over my fantasy. I may never do it in real life in any form or fashion. But it is a fantasy. But you've got to talk about stuff like that. Because you never know. You might say, this is kind of hot to me. It's a fantasy. And your spouse and your partner may be like, you know what? That's one of mine too. And y'all never knew it. And right. you, might, you might find out something you really enjoy to do together. So. Yeah, that's a really good point. And you'll never know those things if you don't talk about it. And, you know, you could go years and be like, oh my gosh, like, I feel so cheated <laughs> on yeah. certain things. Like, I could have been, wow, my I could have been God. spanking her like, butt all this time. Yes, exactly. <laughs> so, yeah, very important to talk about those things. Like, you could be missing out on so much, but, um, so while these are broader categories, there's um, no one way to practice BDSM. Um, different uh, types can include power play, role playing, um, pain play, bondage, wax play, edging, sensory deprivation, or humiliation. So as I kind of stated before, it can be from anything from real just like um, mild to to more like very um very dominating very um more like this is you know more like um it's also like torture pain and stealing and some people are really into that um but you really need to talk to your partner and make sure they're okay with that um so because some people are going to be okay with it some people are not According to research, nearly half of women and more than half of men um, have fantasized about BDSM. I was actually um, surprised at that. Um, that was more than I thought, you know, I would see. Um, so interesting fact. So when you think maybe your partner might not be into that, they may be. So you just don't know. Um, so again before you begin acting out any of your sexual fantasies with your partner make sure you have their consent um there are some things out there that are um not only physically might be painful and not okay with them but also also emotionally um so for instance spanking might might seem just like really silly to you um but it could be really traumatic to your partner like if they were physically abused um you know as a child that might be really not okay with them um you know and some other things but just you know make sure that you're having that conversation before you start you know something if you're um, tying them up if they were like if they were kidnapped at some point you know and handcuffed I mean my god that would that would actually be horrible for them they would obviously not want anything probably to do with that so and if you if you are starting that kind of lifestyle and trying stuff out you get a safe word it's really I know that people don't think about a lot of time but have a safe word with your partner you know jelly bean broccoli something that you can say that that means stop because this is Right. Mentally, physically hurting me, and some you know, or messing with me somehow, because um, you can you can get wild and freaky and have all the fun you want, but make sure you have a safe word that way, your partner knows when to uh, stop. Right. Let me get. She don't want that. Um, you would feel terrible. They would feel terrible, and you know that that would be really hard to come back from. So. Um, be be very self-aware um be aware of your own limitations as well as your partners if it looks sounds or seems like they are in any pain physically or emotionally they probably are um, and you should stop and ask about it or maybe shift gears and try something else um, don't traumatize them they may not trust you for a while or ever again <laughs> Um, so definitely a big conversation needs to happen before you even begin that, um, that sort of thing, but definitely just, you know, make sure you're taking it slow. 
if it's something new that you're trying and um, be really aware of your own actions but also be really aware of um, their um, demeanor and how they are reacting to it um, because they'll most of the time let you know if they're not enjoying it um, so so what do our partners fantasize about do you know you should know um, and if we don't know we need to find out because that should be our job um, usually it's whatever we're not getting um, so for men a big voice one is anal sex um, another one is voyeurism so believe it or not men dream uh, often about being the submissive party a lot of women don't know this because men um, usually um, are the dominant being they like to be the dominant and their partner um, is usually okay with that so men do dream about being the submissive party they fantasize about being tied up teased and violated so put that in your pipe and smoke it like <laughs> a lot of us don't realize that but um that that is something that um so one of the things i was saying about that and my thoughts was that um, I tell my wife all the time, like we say our little nick word nickname thing, my nickname thing for, you know, having sex sometimes I attack her. I text you last night or I text you this morning, but then sometimes I'll be like, and you attack me. And so I'll, I'll, I like it. And I told her sometimes she's like, it's different. But when she like comes on to me and I'm like submissive and my wife takes control, I kind of like that sometimes. So that's, you know, not every time. A lot of times I'm still like to be the one in control, but at times that's pretty you know that's hot so it's it's you know teach their own but i like that sometimes so i can understand the submissive part yeah, for, for sure so what are y'all's thoughts on that um let us know um drop us a line let us know on uh in the comments or on our social media what kind of what you think about that um do you guys have any fantasies with your partners what what do you guys um talk about do you talk about these things with your partners um do you feel like that you might start talking about these things with your partner um kind of after having listened to this um how do you feel like you would maybe begin that conversation um after we we kind of we kind of talked about it um, and if you have talked to them about this what was your feedback and kind of what was their reaction was it positive how did they take it um, how did it kind of like work out for you um, and if you haven't talked to them about it why not why haven't you done that yet um, so yeah so we'll definitely talk about different things that uh fantasy wise that, that you find you know that you can't stop thinking about because the thing about you is like you said you're never going to stop thinking about it if you don't talk to somebody about it act some of it out and do some of it and you're you know if you're able to and if you are both uh, agreed upon it um, and that's it's just one of those things and if it becomes something that you fantasize all the time about and even you do it then it's probably a finish <laughs> so so. Uh, so it's all ties in together and um you know there's different ones like i said myself and crystal we uh start out very you know regular relationship type stuff and as we've grown our relationship you get more into you know more personal fantasy fetish type things that we're going to dig into in more podcasts so for now we'll go ahead and cut this one out for the for the time being but just remember to go check out our links and our sites at wingsandrelationships.com. You also make sure you go, if you have questions and comments, go to crystal at wingsandrelationships.com or jack at wingsandrelationships.com, uh, our emails. And um, check out our YouTube for if you want to watch the video of our podcast. And um, But we're, again, we're on 
And I don't think I've ever said this before. We're on Spotify, Apple, Breaker, Public Radio, um, Anchor. So our podcast is on several platforms. And we're like I said, we have also two YouTube channels. We're on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. So that you can find us. All you got to do is type in Wings Relationships and you'll see my wife's beautiful face uh, somewhere on there that's uh, shouting out something that we do uh, that we're excited about. So again, thanks for watching. Make sure you go and follow. Definitely follow because that helps us uh, show that we're having followers and listen to our show. And uh, same thing on YouTube uh, and Instagram. Go and follow us and uh, make, don't, don't be afraid to shout out and say hi and let us know what's going on. But I appreciate you watching. Anything else? I don't think so. Okay. Thank you for watching. We'll talk to you next time. And hope I can't remember what we're going to do our still next time. Oh, real quick, I do want to tell you that we're probably going to do some kind of something in Rocklahoma. And we may uh, do some kind of podcast from Rocklahoma that we'll post after we get back from Rocklahoma, just talking about the fun we're having there. That's an idea that I'm coming up with. So look out for that also. All right. Have a great night. Thanks for watching.